Hi, I'm Jenna with Chief Architect. In this video segment, I'm going to show the new productivity features in Chief Architect X11, which include multiple reference display options that can include external plans, such as an as-built, great for communicating remodeling changes, and several other new features. A reference display allows you to superimpose another floor over your current floor. This has typically been the floor above or below. You can now display multiple reference floors that might include both the floor above and below. In the new reference display interface, you can choose the plan, set the floor, the layer set, choose the layers, include details like fill, and control the draw order. By using saved plan views, you can set up different configurations depending on your needs. With the plan selection, you can display reference floors from external plan files over your current floor. In this remodel example, I can display the as-built floor plan by choosing the file, floor and layer set as the reference to display, making it easy to see what is changing in the renovation project. You can send this view with the reference display to layout. We have also enabled this same type of reference display in 3D. You can learn more about that in the 3D rendering section of the video. In our previous version of Chief Architect, we implemented saved plan views, allowing you to open multiple views simultaneously, such as the floor plan and framing plan. These plan views retain the layer and annotation sets, active defaults, scale, zoom, floor, and reference information. If you are working on an older plan, you can now import saved plan views into those existing projects with X11. For new or legacy plans, you can create a saved plan view from a view previously sent to layout. You can also unlink saved plan views in layouts. We have changed the behavior of the Auto Interior Dimension tool to provide a cleaner look. The tool has moved from the toolbar to the lower Edit menu when the room is selected. The tool will then place your interior dimensions. For more control, you can choose what dimensions will be located, found in Dimension Defaults. For objects such as cabinets with dynamic default values, we have replaced the designator of D with a default icon that can be toggled on or off to make it easy to set default values. There is a new Find and Replace text tool that you can search the plan, layout, CAD details, section and elevation views with, so you can easily locate your text. With rich text, we enabled the standard hotkeys for Control or Command B for bold, Control U for underline, and Control I for italic text. In the preferences, you will find file type association to assign file types to this latest version of Chief Architect. It includes file types for plans, layouts, and library files. If you are using a PDF file reference in your plan or layout, it will refresh automatically when the PDF has been externally updated. You can now toggle your crosshair cursor on and off with a hotkey, or by adding the toggle button to your toolbar. There are several great new features in Chief Architect X11, and you can expect to see it in early 2019. And remember, all new software purchases include upgrades for the first year. So if you're not currently a customer, get started with Chief Architect today.